today we are going back to science class and we're gonna build tiny homes in The Sims 4, but each one is a different biome. We have our little tiny home community. I tried to make different shapes. Let's start with this one right here. And the first biome that we are going to be doing is the rainforest. It played a little tune, didn't it? There's two things I wanna do to make it like be rainforesty. I wanna bring it up on some stilts. And to bring a house up on stilts, just grab these arrows, bring up your house. We're going to go down here to foundations. And there are three stilt foundations in the base game and one that comes with snowy escape. And what if we did the grass roofing? The roof is like the canopy of the house, the rainforest canopy. I'm going on vibes. Oh my gosh, the ficus. <gasps> you know what I would love to do is just put that in the house. We could build the house around the tree. If I'm gonna raise the house up more, what if I lower the tree down with the tool mod? It's gonna make it really hard to see when we're building in there, but that is a problem for me in like 10 minutes. I've gone with some jungle adventure stuff for the... Where'd the tree go? I'll put it back later. Oh great, this is so glitchy. I think this door with the big windows could be really nice. And I think maybe we will go with these jungle adventure windows. Oh my gosh, and look at these plants from jungle adventure. We definitely can make this like a very lush looking build. I can put this bromeliad around the stilts and it kind of looks like it's wrapping around. I feel like with the tree coming out of the top, that is everything to me. I might even add some of the bigger trees around it in the back to kind of represent the rainforest canopy. Now we come inside and again, I might have to replace the tree. Yup, because I want to paint these walls and it wants to delete the tree. I love this flooring, the jungle adventure flooring. I am loving how these dream home decorator counters look with the energy we have going on in the space. And that like kind of works perfectly too as like a little cabinet right when you walk in. Now the question is, can we get a fridge to slide in here? You know what? I think we can. That totally works. Ignore that there's like a severe amount of clipping going on with these counters if you look at it a little bit too much. I'm gonna have to move that tree. So maybe I could cover it up with a cabinet. What kind of table feels like rainforesty? This one looks really natural, like a really natural wood. I want to keep our green hues. I really like those chairs, but they clash with the green hues of our counters. Wait, I don't want to use these walls inside. I want to use these ones. Oh, but does that kind of clash? Maybe I'll use this in the bedroom so that we can kind of have the best of both worlds going on. I don't know how to lay out the living area. Like I want to do a little TV that way under the window and then do the couch over here. I feel like that would make sense because we could do our matching couch to like make the most of our space. I feel like these three spots have a good view of the TV. You got a little coffee table. I'm gonna grab some of these paintings from Scarlet Way. So that's how this might be looking like with the tree in it. So now let's come in here. I wanted to feel okay about fitting in a double bed. That is actually a perfect size. I really like this growing together one. I feel like the vibes fit us really well. Oh no. Oh, look, we have some leaves clipping in. Do you know what could totally go in front of that? None other than my beloved jungle adventure mirror. Okay, wait, it's actually not gonna cover them up. Um, it's a decoration. It's it's a feature. It's not something wrong. It's a feature. We're gonna put the mirror right there. Get one of our little pictures right here. You know what we don't have in here yet? I don't know how far we are into the video, but we don't have an authority. I absolutely love this tapestry from jungle adventure. I really like the brown that we've brought into this room because I feel like we've got the leaves on the upper part of the wall and then the brown to be like the tree trunks all on the floor and in the decorations. Let's move into the bathroom. I do feel like we could go with some of the jungle adventure stuff here. Ignore that I, that I am ignoring this little corner. I actually could just wall it off. I made a fun shape and then I decided I didn't want it to be fun. I love that sink so much. It is everything to me. This is gonna be our layout. We can add some toilet paper, get some shower essentials in there in the shower. And of course, some of our plants plant pictures. If I were to ask you what biome does this represent, what are you saying? Rainforest? Yes! So here's our rainforest inspired tiny home. I think the tree in the middle really just makes it so good. So our next tiny home is going to be inspired by the desert. So we're coming over to this one and I think I wanna use a lot of these orangey tones. I think before we're done with everything, I will like actually go through and figure out the terrain. We definitely could have some rocks and famously I am going to grab some rocks in debug. There's so many more rocks and so many different types of rocks in debug. And of course, the 
plants, the cacti, everything. Oh, I really like how this is turning out. I'm gonna go with this light siding on the outside. I feel like that is good for our vibes. And I'm wondering maybe like horse ranch windows could kind of be it. Why do I want to use this door again? I feel like this door is so versatile. That's going to be our little entryway. And then this layout, I don't really know if I had a lot planned for this layout or if I just made it look cute from the outside. Cause sometimes I am just making it look cute from the outside. We've got a bedroom and then open concept for everything else. I really love this hexagonal floor. I kind of really like this swatch of the horse ranch counters. I know it's a little strange to walk directly into the kitchen, but also this is a tiny home. So what do you expect? I think the corner cabinet is the only one we can clutter since we need to leave this one open. We could do like a cute little dining table over here. I just don't know which table or what the vibes are. I love this little campers table. The way it adds kind of like a pop of color. And then what if we did something like this? I don't know. I literally like accidentally pulled out the curved one and now I'm like, wait, I kind of really like that. And we'll do our TV. Wait, should we use the Desert Lux couch? Because I love the Desert Lux couch so much. We did use Dream Home Decorator in the last tiny home. Maybe it is Desert Lux's time to shine. Then we could do my favorite little thing where I size down one of the coffee tables with the left bracket key and I make it kind of like a double coffee table moment. No rug with the Desert Lux kit does continue to be a painful thing for me to think about. I kind of love this layout, especially with the big windows on the side. Do we use the Desert Lux kit curtain? It really highlights how tall the walls are. I feel like that's a really nice touch. I was trying to think. I, we do have a desert-y picture from the seasons one. That goes perfectly right there. Do we add an authority right here because an authority fits perfectly right there? I think so. We can squeeze in a basket of cozies. Ooh, and I kind of love this bookshelf. I think it kind of works right here because then this can function as a little side table for the couch. I'm also going to add a trash can and I am realizing I did forget to add a trash can in the last tiny home. Look at this picture, how the color scheme goes so nicely with the table. And then coming into the bedroom, I think to maximize space, I am going to put the bed against the wall and we'll do the same kind of like three window moment right there. And the reason I wanted to maximize space is to hopefully get a desk if we can fit one. It's kind of a tight squeeze. I kind of have no other option than the teeny tiny little side table right there. I really like this wardrobe item from Horse Ranch. I kind of didn't realize that existed. And I really like these desert inspired paintings by Legio 08. Why do they match with the bed really nicely? Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's so pretty. You know what else is really pretty? Some string lights. I also feel like besides the bathroom door, the feng shui is really nice. Like the bed is very secluded from the main door to the room. But if we do a plant there and we do this like waffle back chair over here. Ooh, that could be really pretty. Do I like that pattern? I might like the more neutral one a little better. And we probably should use the Desert Lux curtains again, but they're going to clip in. I'm actually thinking we don't have to just not use the curtains. What we can do is just have one there and then take the curtain rod and put it all the way across. So it kind of creates the impression that the curtain does slide all the way down, but we just don't have it doing that at this moment. I'm gonna finish cluttering that in a second. Right now I wanna go over to the bathroom. I don't know, I think I'd like to keep it pretty bright in here. Actually, these tiles come in a really, really nice like sandy color, which might be good for our desert vibes. I think I'll just keep our shower tub combo from growing together. We could do the sink from Horse Ranch, but I was thinking this one. So we still have some of our wood, but it also kind of keeps with the modern vibes of the rest of the bathroom. Oh, I've been forgetting to add light switches. Sorry, everybody. This bathroom's gonna get a light switch though. I really love this shade of green that this bath mat is. I don't know, it just speaks to me. And then on this wall, we will do some towel racks. Oh, we could do a robe on the back of the door. Your Sims will walk right through that. It'll look a little weird. So if you don't like it, just delete it. We'll do one of the pictures in here too. And I'm just gonna throw in a little curtain, I think. So here's our desert tiny home. I think it turned out so well. I love the color scheme. And I'm so glad we had stuff in the game that made it work. So our next tiny home is going to be inspired by the tundra. The tundra is interesting because take a second. What do you think of when you think of tundra? You think of like a bunch of snow, right? The tundra actually has very little precipitation. It's like a very cold desert. But I'm gonna go with the snowy vibes because it's not like it doesn't snow at all. So I want to make this look really light, really bright. I think the white roofing kind of gives the vibe that there's snow on the roof. If you didn't know, the tundra is actually so cold that like basically the top layer of the ground is frozen. And what's frozen in it is like a lot of fossils, decomposed, biomass. Something that's really great is that there's kind of like a never ending 
fucking loop. As global warming happens, permafrost melts. And guess what's stored in the permafrost? All those decomposed biomass organisms, aka carbon. And guess what it releases? More carbon. And guess what that results in? More climate change. You could not tell I was an environmental studies major. I actually am going to be linking some information and some charities down below. If anybody feels compelled to educate yourself or to contribute to causes that are doing great work for all of these different regions and biomes, what do we think of this layout? This will be the bathroom. Can I get a fireplace in the corner? I don't know. Oh. I don't know why I chose round walls with this. I'll be so honest. What's something like cute, like comfy cozy? I love this. I just feel like this is a bit large. Maybe we need a love seat. You know what? I really like the monochrome. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, but I really do like and it. And look how the pillow on the eco lifestyle bed kind of matches the pillow on the eco. Just kidding. The tiny living couch. I will not be explaining this any further. This wall reminds me of snow. So we're keeping it. Are we going to be able to make the modular curtains work on this curved wall. Okay, listen, if you look at it from this angle, it looks good. If you come up here, you go, oh, that's not... I didn't think this through because now we can't have cabinets. I think I am going to give us a laptop. I honestly think this could be really fun to play in once the new pack comes out. How do I do the skinny bathroom again? Normally, I do them just three tiles. I don't know why I made this one four tiles. I do the shower there. If you want the wall shower, you need to have Discovery University or this one is from Snowy Escape. The toilet is is gonna go on one end and the sink is gonna go on the other end. That is actually completely functional. I would just say be careful with stuff you put on the walls because sometimes your sims see that and they're like, I can't walk through there. And then in the same way we had that desert picture, we do have this one with snowflakes. And now it does kind of ruin the monochromaticness of this all. But here with the curved wall and the curtain, I'm kind of worried about putting the side table like there. Because I think here is the prime area where they get into the bed. So we'll do a little bit of a distant side table. Oh my God, look snow decals. Let's put those around. Oh my god, snow pal. I was like, what do we do for landscaping? Because like, I'm just gonna not do that much. Well, we'll put a couple snow pals around. Not too many. I don't want to get too silly. Maybe we'll put like some skis out here. But again, it's like, is it even that snowy in the tundra? I am putting the wicker rug underneath the fireplace. It's fine. I wish this came in white. I can make my own bookshelf, actually. A little candle moment right there. These levels of cozy are impressive. Done it. Got our shoe rack with our boots to go out in the snow. We'll have a fluffy rug. We'll put our little mason jar with the trees in there. And if I did boots, we obviously have to do coats. I may do some more landscaping and then make the season winter so it looks all wintry. But for now, here is our tundra themed tiny home. Again, I feel like the monochromatic just works with the teeny tiny pops of color. So that leaves our last tiny home over here to be the coral reef. I am so excited about this. Coral reef isn't necessarily itself a biome. There's actually a very interesting kind of like history around biomes, definitions of biomes. And once again, putting the house on stilts. And obviously I kind of want our coral reef house to at least be somewhat the coral color, but also there are so many colors in the coral reefs and something that is so cool and that I was so excited about. One of the reasons I chose to put this on the wheel is because of these awesome coral reef items that we have from Island Living. I want to try to put this here and then I'm going to take the tool mod and lower it down a bit. Yes. So it's like underneath there. I am loving how this is turning out. I kind of want to decorate the top of the house with coral as if like the house house is a rock that coral is growing on? Maybe. Okay, I am a little bit obsessed with what we have going on. Let's do like the big glass doors in the front. Personally, I kind of want to do big just glass windows all around because if that was all outside your house, wouldn't you want to look at it too? You know, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this big of a kitchen in a tiny home, but I literally could not be more obsessed with the island living counters. They've always been one of my favorites ever since we got them. Um, um, what was that? Why did the other one disappear? That was so weird. I think I want to use a Murphy bed because we haven't used a Murphy bed yet. And we have the pretty coral color on this swatch of the Murphy bed. And then a half wall again, just something like that. And we'll do a desk area or I don't know. We've done lots of desk areas. What's another like skill building thing we could do? Oh, we could do a little painting. Let's make this wall blue for funsies. What I really like about this item from Tiny Living is that it's like three in one, right? It's like a TV, a bookshelf, a stereo. 
video. So excellent. I don't think I'm putting curtains on the windows. I would want to be looking at that all the time. So no curtains it is. Over here, let's do a hallway table. And what if we did a fun mirror? Oh, maybe I should have made photography their hobby since I am going to be putting these pictures in. I wish I could change the frames on those. The big island living plant. That actually kind of works right there. We need the sunscreen. But you know what it is? It's reef safe sunscreen. You should always, if you are going to swim in the ocean, get ocean safe sunscreen. You know what? I'm going to put a link down below where you can read more about reef safe sunscreen. Everybody's getting educated today. This is not just a Sims build. This is education. I literally almost forgot about this bathroom. Whoopsies. What if for this, we do kind of the earthy colors again to represent the sand at the bottom of the ocean? I kind of really want to use the pink swatch. Sorry, everybody. Oh my God, we have a pink swatch of the mirror. I keep forgetting light switches. Okay, we have a light switch in approximately two rooms out of four houses. A little like laundry bin over here. I did not put laundry in any of these houses. What goes above the toilet? Oh, wait, I really like this one because there's so many like pretty blues in the ocean too. Giant window in the bathroom. Those, those towels, those are the curtains we're gonna use. All right, so here it is, our final tiny home of the day. This is our coral reef inspired tiny home. I love the colors. I think they just really make it pop. And future Sarah went and landscaped this all and made it look like an actual tiny home village. So here is a look at that. I really hope you enjoy. If you did make it this far in the video, go ahead and comment the word science because we do love science, followed by an emoji to represent your favorite build of the day. If you want part two to this video, just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more Sims builds. We are so back, so don't forget to leave a like as well. Check out those links down below. Join us on Twitch sometime. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!